Before we begin the demo, I'd like to show you the layout of the Tim Report. So on the cover here, we have the front of property shop and the report details. Here we have the contents page and the schedule of condition. Further down, we have some property details and any general notes that you wish to add. And again, the front of property photo. Now on this page we have the meter details with the supplier, the serial number, the reading and importantly photos of the readings that are date and time stamped. Beneath this we have some guidance notes which can be fully customized and here you have the report layout. So as you can see you add the item, the description, the quantity and the color and then any comments or condition notes you wish to add. It's unlimited what you can type into these fields. All of the photos of each room appear at the end of the page and they're all date and time stamped. Here's the template layout again and more photos, damaged items. All the photos are referenced to the item, overview photos and so on. Now when we get to the end of the report, you have the key exchange details and a photo of the keys and beneath that, this is where the tenants can sign. They can sign on the device or the printed hard copy. Okay, well that's the layout of a Tim report. Hello and welcome to this video demo from Tim, the Inventory Manager. My name's Paul Miller and I'd like to guide you through how to create very detailed inventory check-in, mid-term and check-out reports using Android smartphones, Android tablets, the iPhone or the iPad. I'm using an emulator for this demo but the layout of the Tim software on those devices is exactly the same. Okay, to begin, click here to choose your report type. Add the address. Postcode. And also the tenant's name and who's preparing the document. Click next. Add further property details on this page. Choose the type of property. Here, click take photo and take photo top left to add photos of the front and rear of the property that embed straight into the report and a date and time stamp. Always remember to use your device for the photos landscape. Then click next. On this page, any general notes you wish to add. Type them in here and then click save. Then continue. Once the property details have been added, click here. Then begin to add the rooms. I will quickly scroll through this and show you what's within there. Plus sign to add. Minus if there's one too many. Then save. If you'd like to change the order in which the rooms have been added, click on the menu tab, room order, Choose the room and then up or down, then save. There it is. To rename a room, again choose the room, click here, delete the room, type in the new name, then save. Next to add items, choose the room. Add items. 
When you click here, this reveals the main menu. Each one of these sections has a list with it. It's entirely up to you, the order in which you add these sections. So I will choose Decor, and then within this section are all of these items. Again, I will add the ceiling to the floor down, go to the list, choose the ceiling type, the condition, to add a photo, click here and take photo, then save. Working my way down, walls, list. Now if, if the wall type isn't within this list, simply type it in. Add the condition, save. Every new item typed in, you will always be asked to add to the dictionaries. To do so, click here and then close. Go back to the list and there's the item that's just been saved that is permanently within your dictionaries. This is how very simple it is to customize the dictionaries, adding all your keywords, items, conditions and comments. So working your way through these lists, Deco we've looked at, doors and windows, click here, doors list, if that's the door type, QTY quantity, if you'd like to add a comment, click here. If you'd like to use this comment again, click here and then close. Add the condition of the doors, the color, then save. Now the comment that I've just added is there. So everything that you type in can be saved to a dictionary for future use. Next, accessories for the doors. Go to the list Remember, these lists are completely customizable. Quantity, save. Now to add the windows, go to the list, and it's exactly the same thing. Choose the window type, the condition, add a photo if you wish to, and then save. Just working your way through the list, from decor, doors, windows, fixtures and fittings, it's entirely up to you, the order in which you add these items. Items that have been added into a room can very easily be copied into other rooms. Let me show you what I mean by this. The master bedroom has seven items within. Now let's assume that bedroom two is very similar. Choose copy room, go to the list, choose bedroom 2. Go. If you want to copy all of these ticked items into bedroom 2, click copy. Home. You can now see that bedroom 2 has all of those items in. Click here to review. If you want to amend the notes or add photos, just do so. Click here, take photo, and then close. Save. 
then begin to add the items into the room. This really does help save time in creating the reports by copying the room data over. Let me show you that again. So this time I want to copy items over from bedroom 2 into bedroom 3 go to the list, choose bedroom 3 and then go. This time however the ceiling is different, untick the box. The walls are different, untick the box. Only copy over what is the same and you can see bedroom 3 has two less items. Then begin to add. Once all of the items, conditions, comments and photos have been added into each of the rooms and the report is now nearly finished, to add further details click on the menu tab. Within here you'll find the meters, key exchange and schedule of condition. Again in any order you wish to, click here, choose the service, is the meter accessible? Who's the supplier? If the supplier is not within the list, type it in. Add to the dictionary. To add the reading, convert your keypad to numbers. And the same with the serial number. Add the location, if you wish to. Click here to take a photo which would be of the meter reading, again date and time stamped and then click save. Add meter, you can now see that electric has been removed from that list and then continue on with the other services. Once the meter readings have been added, click on the menu tab again, this time key exchange, add keys or key fobs quantity add a photo of the keys any notes you wish to add any comments then click save. Next to add the schedule of condition which is an overall summary of the property's general condition. Click on the menu tab, schedule of condition, add, then choose from the item list. Again this can be completely customized with the items you require. and then add a comment. Click save. Add the item. This will appear on page 3 of your TIM reports. And so on. When complete Click Home. You can review the report at any time by clicking here. Go to the list, choose the room, and there's your item notes. Any photos that you've taken, click here, and they'll show you. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so once the report's been exported and you've created your first, there's a couple of other things I'd like to show you. The bottom left on your device screen, you'll find settings. Click here. To add your username and password, click on login details. To back up your dictionaries to the TIM servers, click here. Other devices can access and download your 
dictionaries from the servers by clicking restore. The key setting in here that I'd like to look at is dictionary. As I've said throughout this demo, the key to using Tim effectively in a time efficient manner, manner is to customize the dictionaries, have the items, conditions and comments within the lists. And there's a very easy way to do this. For example, to add, to take out colors which I won't use, click on the color and delete. To edit colors, click save. And there it is. To add new items in, click here. And there it is. You can do this with all of the lists. Colors, conditions, the same thing. To add new items, type in and save. To edit items, click on and then edit. Within settings and dictionary, click select category, choose items, select room. So from this list you can customize individual rooms or choose all rooms. Select section and then you begin to go through the list. This is exactly the same the same list as with it within your Tim software on the device. Click here and do the same thing. To add And it's back in. What we're doing here though is changing the dictionaries for all rooms. So once you've added the ceiling types in, you then move into Dado and do the same thing. Flooring, and this is a much quicker way to add into the dictionaries, to customize them. Skirting boards and so on. Once that section has been customized, click here and begin with the doors and windows and so on. This is a much quicker way to really customize and bespoke the dictionaries so that the items, conditions and comments that you use frequently are within the lists then click home. When the report's completed on the device and you've added your meter readings, key exchange and schedule of condition, click export. Click here and the tenants and the clerk can sign for the report on the device. Then press complete. This message tells you you have 30 days to make any amendments to the document online. Within seconds you'll receive an email from us saying that the report is now available in your account on the TIM website where you can edit and then download the document. To summarize, complete the entire report on the device, add all of the rooms, items, conditions and comments, all of the photos taken with the device embed straight into the report and a date and time stamp. This follows TDS and DPS guidelines. Then press export and complete. Your report is available within seconds. My name's Paul Miller. We look forward to discussing Tim with you setting you up on the free trial and helping you evaluate through telephone training and webinars how this software can really benefit your business. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.